Throughout its history, the Chickasaw Nation has recognized the valuable roles Chickasaw women hold, roles that continue to strengthen the tribe. With March designated as National Women's History Month, take time to salute the determined women who are making history and inspiring future generations of Chickasaws to thrive. I knew I wanted to do something big. I knew I wanted to do something that would make an impact. So I joined the service. I'm Rebecca Owens. I served 30 years in the United States Navy, and I'm Chickasaw. The Chickasaw Warriors are an inspiration. I felt a drive to serve the Navy and to get into law enforcement. I think that goes in spirit with the Chickasaws because their females were fearless. They had so much to protect, and they had so much to lose. They cherished elders. They cherished children. Protecting those was something that they were going to do and, and lay their lives down for it. When I think about the Native American contributions to the wars, uh, specifically World War II, the Code Talkers allowed us to win that war. And even during that period of time, there were many in the U.S. and many in the service that were not accepting of the Native American Indians. Through the Veterans of Foreign Wars, I assist other veterans with their disability claims. I take great pride in that. I love the opportunity to help other veterans. I can't trade that feeling for anything. My role as a Chickasaw hatchet woman, I still want to be on the forefront. I still want to be walking a path that others can follow and I still want to inspire. Brenda Kingery exemplifies the qualities of dynamic Chickasaw women. She is a role model who reminds us that servant leadership is a trademark of the Chickasaw people. 17 years ago, a friend and I decided to follow a couple of doctors to Honduras. We had no project in mind. A bishop there said, do me a banner. And I was an artist at that time and selling in Santa Fe, and I thought, I don't do banners. And then I thought, well, maybe I will. So we drew a four foot by eight foot banner. And we took it to eight women in a little carport with a light bulb. And the women took to this, and here's the whole plot. The women can sew in most countries, most places. There was a place with no electricity, no running water, but an option for women, something that they might do. And it brought them dignity when they began to sew and it began to, to develop for them. We sold the piece for enough for a, uh, a daycare center for the children. And so the women realized a great sense of empowerment from that. And as I said, that's 17 years later, we're still going. We've been invited all over Mexico. And then about 10 years ago, we started going to Uganda, which has been a rewarding experience. The women were mostly widows or women from the area up near the Congo. And they really needed something to do. Most of their history had been destroyed in war. And so actually doing these small tapestry pieces or embroidery, which we take home and sell, and 100% goes back to the women. We are empowering those women to start again and to help their children with education. Who would have thought that a needle and thread could be so important, could mean so much to the lives of so many people? If I go into to an abstract painting, I have no idea what the outcome is going to be. I have no idea what the painting will look like, or I don't try to control it. And I suspect when you go into a different culture, if you go in with an attitude of learning, or if you go in with the attitude that we're all, we're all part of this place, then you are given great gifts. And I think the gift is going in and learning other cultures. I'm amazed by that. I, I thank God for the opportunity. I am so grateful for that. In 2011, Stephanie Cochran was honored as the Chickasaw Nation Dynamic Woman of the Year. Her background in Native American law has enriched her community and the country. I've always been a public servant. I've served either tribes, I've served the federal government, or I've served state governments. The law allows 
me to express my natural desire to advocate. My name is Stephanie Cochran. I am an attorney and I am Chickasaw. Lawyers give their clients, and in my case, tribal governments, a voice. I and mean, it's through legal decisions that tribes have been able to accomplish and to regain some much lost footing that they encountered in the late 1800s and the 1900s. When I reflect back on this time in history, I think I will look at it in terms of opportunity. And I think now we have to turn those opportunities into long-term success for our future generations. The Dynamic Women of the Chickasaw Nation Conference is April 19th through 20th at the Windstar Conference Center, and registration ends on March 29th. Find a registration form and learn more about strong, dynamic women in the nation at Chickasaw.net.